Today we're going to be making some serving trays. I've got this uh, nice piece of walnut here. You just saw me uh, sending through the thickness there in the joiner. So if you want, you can follow along and uh, I'll show you how we make some trays. We're going to resaw this board to make the bottom of the tray, so I want to make sure that I resaw it right in the middle. So I use this marking gauge to find the exact middle. It's like that's it. When I resaw, I like to use my table saw to. Uh, make an initial cut up into the board then I'll flip it over and I'll do the other way and then uh, what's left in the middle where the table saw can't reach I'm going to finish off on the band saw. time we went to resaw this board, uh, the blade that was on the bandsaw was a little dull on one side and it was causing the blade not to cut straight and to follow the sonder from the uh, table saw. So we went ahead and we put a wider blade on here. This blade works better for resawing and we're going to give the, another attempt on this piece of walnut. Now what I'll do is I'll take this over to the thickness planer and we'll just clean up these marks from the bandsaw. Look what I'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. And we'll probably fill this with some epoxy. Same with this side. And probably these two little ones. It's always a good idea to apply an even bead of glue to both surfaces of your joint. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put these down and we'll tighten it up in the clamps. As you can see, I've got a good even squeeze out on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a damp rag, I'm going to clean that glue up now. Um, it's a lot easier to do before it sets up. And then I'm going to set this aside and then we'll let this set overnight. I added a few more clamps onto this bottom and also I put these uh, these wooden clamps on here because I wanted to make sure that the, uh, that the bottom stays nice and flat while that's gluing up. Now what I just did here was I ripped the, uh, the board down into uh, strips for the sides of the serving tray. Now what I have to do is resaw these to get the uh, the four sides. I'll get two out of each one. Uh, these pieces were uh, short enough, you know, this way, 
so that I was able to completely resaw them right on the table saw. Um, didn't have to use the band saw for these, so what I'll do now is we'll just go and send these through the thicknesser and we'll clean these up. I went ahead and I cut these uh, side pieces close to the length I want. I left them about an inch longer. And now what I have to do is um, put a dado along the bottom of each one for the bottom of the tray to slide into. So that's what I'll do next. I'll take these over on the table saw and I'll set the saw up for that and we'll make that cut. Okay, I went ahead and I cut these uh, dados out on the table saw on each one of these pieces. Now these uh, these dados, they start an eighth of an inch up and they are a quarter of an inch deep by a quarter of an inch wide. So now what I want to do is um, I need to shape the ends for the handles on these wider pieces and then I'm going to put a round over on the top of each one of these side frame members. Now I got one handle cut out so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace this onto the next piece. 